Hi guys, today I'm going to share a little knot with you guys. Some of you might know this knot, but it's always nice to just refresh your memory. This is a very easy and fast knot to make, and it's a type of knot that we're going to use on our artificial lures. Um, I, it's, it's very similar to a Rapala knot, but not exactly the same. And basically this knot gives movement to your lure. Often guys just tie their, their knot straight to the lure, and what it actually does, it stiffens up your lure. It restricts the movement, where is this Knot's got a bit of a loop in it, so your lure moves much free, much more freely. And when you work the lure using your wrist or the rod, it gives that lure much more action in the water and definitely increases your strike rate. So this knot's called the tuna knot, or that's what the guys call it that showed me. I think it's called a tuna knot. But as I say, it's quick and easy to make, especially when you're standing in the surf, busy spinning, or you're on a boat and you don't want to spend too long making a knot. This one is easy and fast and strong. All right, so how do you do the knot? You take your, your main line, Jenny, when you're spinning, it's going to be a piece of fluorocarbon line. You take your main line and just make a simple loop knot in it. Just like that. It's called a granny knot or loop knot. And then we're going to take our lure and put the tag end through the eye of the lure. So we grab our lure. And we're going to put that tag in through that eye. And then you take your tag end and push it through this little loop knot you made and tighten everything a little bit. So now you can determine how big you actually want this little loop. So I want it a bit smaller. Just going to put everything a bit. That's the size I want it. I'm going to pinch that loop knot to keep everything in place and then the next step and the last step is another loop knot or a half hitch I'm just gonna grab it with my teeth and pull it tight take my scissors cut that long tag end off And then I like to just give it a good test. It's nice and solid. And that is it. As simple as that. You've got this nice little loop. Gives you all this movement in the water. When you're moving your bait, it can do exactly what you want to do. It looks very realistic. And it's a small knot, quick to make, and very strong. 